salaries um, for our state employees, uh, specifically teachers and principals. I really think it's on teacher pay and principal pay. You've heard a lot about teacher retention. I think that's a, a critical issue. Um, Virginia, South Carolina, their salaries are much higher than our salaries, so getting teachers to stay in North Carolina is a critical thing. Schools serve an incredible role in the state of North Carolina. Our Constitution calls for a sound basic education for every child, regardless of zip code. Well, in Yancey County, as in most counties, retaining and, and uh, getting good teachers and keeping them is our big issue. I mean, we're asking teachers that, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they have the most precious commodity, if you want to call them, but they are the, um, the ones that are, are making sure that our kids are prepared for the future. If we do not pay them as true professionals and show them that they are appreciated and respected, then we will continue to lose them. So whether we're talking about the small districts in the western part of the state or the small districts in the eastern part of the state or the larger districts in the center part of the state, each of those districts serve a very, very important role and need the opportunity and the support of our leaders to ensure that we have the resources we need to take care of our teachers, to ensure we have the resources we need to provide for every student for their needs, to ensure they can compete with students around the world. With our, with our teacher training institutions, our 15 schools of education, um, there's really not enough incentive there for kids to go through those programs and then to come into an already a lower salary. Um, also teacher distribution. So if we could bring back programs like the Teaching Fellows Program, provide scholarships for those teachers, candidates that want to go into the profession so they can go in and not carry a lot of debt, that would be an incentive. Um, and of course, increasing teacher pay. We've gone from having a pipeline of, of very good candidates that we can fill in teachers and we can fill in the principal role to almost nothing. So when we talk about the future of education, I think it is what can we do to make teaching profession more valuable in the eyes of the people. And certainly pay is, is an easy thing to talk about, but just morale and just overall feeling that education is valuable in North Carolina, I think would help a big part. And presently, you know, our, our teacher pay and the structure of our teacher pay is such that we want teachers out of the system by the time they're 50 years old. We don't really care if they have a master's degree or if they're nationally board certified anymore. So right now we are having a very difficult time in recruiting and retaining teachers, especially in the northeast region of the state. And so we have our lowest performing schools for the most part in that area and we have uh, the toughest time recruiting teachers.